morning. Good morning. By the way, do you know the meaning of Dhaniram? Dhaniram means a rich man. Not the Bible talks about him, right? There was a rich man. <laughs> By the way, my gesture will be, be changed because I work among the youths. In initial days, I used to be a very serious pastor, like typical Indian pastor. <laughs> uh, very serious. Until the people cry, I wouldn't be satisfied. <laughs> they should cry after the preaching, right? <laughs> but as the days goes by, God gave me a burden to work among the youths. God began to teach me. Of course, there will be tears in the presence of God sometimes because of thankfulness, because of what he has done. Then God told me they are already crying for different reasons. Comfort my people. Amen? Amen? Amen. Are you happy today? Yes. I am so happy today because my prayer is, Lord, there is only one life to live on this planet. Take me to the places where you want me to go. When we are young in the Lord, we want to travel the nations. But as we mature, seek the Lord, we grow in the Lord, then we know we have limited times and we know the heart of God. Then our prayer, ambitions, desires, everything begins to change. Then we pray, Lord, take me to the place where you want me to go. Why I'm telling this? If I am here, he sent me. Every time coming to Kuwait, I face some challenges. <laughs> Last time also, even this time I've been to Bihar. You know Bihar? You must have heard about Bihar. I was there for a week. Lot of challenges. But I believe God has brought me here. If he has brought me here, there is something to convey. Amen? Amen. I haven't come all the way from India by myself. I believe it is God who has sent me speak to us this morning. Amen? Amen? I am so happy. Once again, I want to tell you, we have only one life on this planet. I really appreciate Samson. Is this Samson in Hindi? English? In Hindi, Samson. I have two Bibles, by the way. <laughs> Lastly, what he prayed, you know, Lord, I know I am going to die. This Philistines will kill me. Can you please strengthen me once again so that I can take the revenge? What is trying to say? I have done mistakes. But he began to pray, the Bible says, his hair started growing. Amen? And we know the story about him, right? Amen? Amen? And he took the revenge. What I'm trying to say is, very soon we will be 50. Now I am 48. 60, 70, 80, 90. 20, 120, 150, but eventually we will be going in the presence of God. <laughs> when I think about this, 
I become so serious. I become so mindful of the things that I am doing and I am occupied with. Midst of all these things, we need to realize we have only one life on this planet and to do the will of God. Amen? Praise the Lord. I am a bit out of my context, but as a brother was saying, I am just pouring out my heart to you. What happens, you know, God takes us to different places. Even to me, I travel. And God wants to convey something to us. If God has brought me here, God is going to teach me. Of course, I, I have come here to take the seminars. But my attitude is, Lord, I want to see something that you are doing in Kuwait. That will boost up my faith, strengthen me to move on. Amen? You know what David says? Taste and see that the Lord is. That the Lord is. If there is rain. If there is no rain. Cloudy weather. Sunny weather. <laughs> These experiences doesn't change the character of God. Amen. He is good. That is established. He is Jehovah Rapha. That is established. He is Jehovah Jara. That is established. Every name of God is established for ever and ever. We are living in this generation, but our God is the generational God. The situations we are facing now, the challenges that we are facing now, previous generation also faced them, and God was there to do the miracles. Amen? Today I will be speaking about faith and miracles. At the age of 17, I got saved. As you know by my name that I come from Hindu background. And Hindu people, Hindu people are very good people. They worship so many gods. If you have long beard... And do something there, they will worship you also. <laughs> anyway, anyway, yes, I was praying. I was seeking the Lord. Lord, what to share your people? God said, speak about the faith and miracles. If we take out this faith from a believer's life, he is just like others. If you take the miracle working part from God, he will be like other people, right? There should be something uniqueness in our life and even the God whom we are serving. Whom we are serving. You know Moses what he asked. Lord you are sending me there. He was highly qualified guy. The Bible says. Moses was mighty. In words. And in deeds. Right. He was not. Uneducated guy right. And Egypt used to be. A very good in education. In those days. And this guy was trained. His brain was sharp. You see, he was, the Bible says, by one heat collapsed. Standing before the Pharaoh and challenging with his own experiences, with his knowledge, what he has accumulated from there won't be possible because he knew there are also people who do the miracles. 
Then God, then Moses asked, Lord, you are sending me there. Then you know what God said? Don't worry, I am with you. <laughs> you know, being God in our life makes vast difference. Rabba Sekel. Having God in our life, having God in our life itself changes our perspective about everything. If there is sickness, God is Jehovah Rapha. People have named all terminal diseases. God didn't. Am I correct? Doctors, please don't get me angry with me. Dr. Vandana has invited me. <laughs> but there is a doctor of doctors. <laughs> of course, God brings healing through medicine. Of course, I do agree. I take medicines. At the same time, God whom we serve is a miracle working God. You know, in the Bible, God was reminding a lot of of course, we'll be coming to our text today. Is the Lord speaking to us? Really? Amen? I'm not going to share something new. I'm going to just remind you something. We need to keep reminding ourselves about God. You know, about just I was, uh, the Spirit was uh, putting something in my heart. Even though Joshua, what he said, when they were crossing the Jordan, he asked them to pick up some stones, right? Why? What is the reason of these stones? The Bible says, Joshua, Joshua uh, told them, if the next generation will ask, what is the meaning of the stones? Tell your children that the Lord parted this Jordan River and we cross over. Got it? Yeah. Got it? Yes, Are you understanding? Amen. I tell you, our children will be not in lack. Of course. If they are in that condition, how will they know the Jehovah Jireh? Until we tell them. The Bible says, Bible says, you tell your children how the Lord helped her to cross over the Jordan. It is impossible, man. I tell you, miracles, how will we explain the miracles? If you tell, I have a faith, okay, which part of organ called faith, they will ask. You have kidneys, I know. You have liver, I know. Right? Am I correct? I know tissues. I know cells. I have studied. But if you tell them faith, they won't understand. They will say, show me something tangible I want to touch. And no. <laughs> In the world, I tell you, Miracles. What is miracles? The miracle is nothing but the work of God performed divinely, divinely, which is impossible through science or human abilities. Sometimes miracles are incomprehensible through our senses, but they can be experienced after they are manifested. Got it? Oh, it's a big definition. Every word contains there is my experience. You cannot explain. How will you explain? Turning water into wine. Crossing the Red Sea. How will you explain? Coming water from rock. How will you explain? They will mad. What are you are talking about? Show me now. If you are talking about miracle working God, I want to experience him right now. 
I want to experience him right now. Let science advance. Let it advance. But it can never advance beyond the abilities of God. God will be God, sovereign God. Got it? Amen? I tell you, how will you explain feeding 5,000 with five loaves of, right? How? Not possible, right? These are the miracles. For example, if you tell, oh, I had a tumor, somebody prayed, it's removed now. They can't understand, you can't explain how it happened. But when it is done, when it is manifested, we experience miracles in our lives. Amen. Our God is the miracle working God. Really, I tell you, everybody needs miracles. Our, our faith is not based on miracles, but upon the God who does the miracles. Our faith is based upon God and his promises and his word. Amen? And his word. And we, when we hold on to his words, miracles will take place. It will be common. It should be common. Whose God he is? Ours. I always say, if he will not do the miracle for me, then for whom he will do? I am a child. I should experience. I, sh I, I should. The first privilege of experiencing the miracle in my life. Right? Jesus said, right? Jesus said, one, one, one woman, a woman come to Jesus, came to Jesus. Asking. To heal her child. How can I take this bread and give to the dogs? We should be the first one to experience his miracles. Amen? Really need a miracle? Maybe not today, tomorrow. <laughs> because of the harvest festival, right? Okay, by the way, the Bible says without faith, we cannot receive miracles. There is only one currency that is called faith. To buy water, what we need? Currency, right? To buy laptop? Currency. Buy clothes? KD. Right? Yeah. And to trade with the kingdom of God. To do the business with heaven, faith is... Currency. Bible says through faith they subdue the kingdoms. Oh man, when I think about that, subdue the kingdoms through faith, they shut the mouth of the lions. The Bible says through faith they obtained the promises of God. I told you, you know, if you remove faith from a, uh, from a believer's life, he will be normal. Totally normal. Oh man, this will how? It will be how oh, you are telling stories. I want to experience now. And we are here like Moses to let them experience. Got it? God says to Moses, go, I am with you. Don't think that you are alone. You are not alone with your education, with your knowledge. I am with you. Go and prove. People want to, people want results. What they want? What they want? Okay, you are talking about this now? Here I don't know, in India. Pastors are under pressure. What, what do I mean? Oh, you are talking about your God heals? Heal me. I don't have money for the treatment. And people are experiencing the healing God there. Amen. Whatever area we believe for, God is miracle working God. And through faith, we can experience miracles 
up to miracles and miracles. Amen. Just I'm reminding you. And I'm a crazy pastor. Really, whatever God says, if somebody calls me to pray for the dead, I will go. Man, he is already dead. Just think. One miracle. <laughs> One miracle. The Bible says the disciples were preaching, sharing the word. And God was confirming through signs and wonders. That is the God we serve, right? That is the God we serve. I tell you, people want to see results. People, wants to, people want to experience God in their personal life. Amen? 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 But to receive miracles or perform miracles, faith is required. One criteria. Criteria. Any miracle, only one criteria. For healing, faith. Financial breakthrough, faith. Family problem, faith. Going to America, <laughs> not faith, money. <laughs> to be a missionary, you should understand I am a missionary speaking from here. Being a missionary, one, you want to experience, please come. Be with me for one month. Now we are in better condition before but initial days, I was the one like, you know, the Bible says you should not test God. But I used to take the verses and I used to pray, Lord, you have said this. I tell you, in 2004, when I was in Singapore doing my biblical studies there, I had only $3. And I was a faithful tither. I prayed until 2 a.m. Lord, I am in a different country. I am pastor. And you are the one who will provide for me. It is you who have brought me here. Okay. I put my purse on the floor. Feel it. You said your cup will overflow. <laughs> At that time, I was 27 years old. Okay. God honored my faith. Next day, I went, to, uh, went for the class. And one Chinese girl came to me and gave me an envelope. A red color. I thought, what is in that? I was waiting for the break. And I saw there was a $100 bill. Every month, she used to come and give $100 to me. Pastor, this is for you. Who told? Who told? You know? Who told her? Who told? We don't have to tell people. You will be insulted. Does anybody know Hindi here? Or except Dr. Vandana? Haan, share, bhuka rahega, ghaas nahi khaega. That means, lion will go hungry, but it will not eat grass. That should be our mentality. When I was in the field, Lord, I know you are a miracle working God. If I, you, if you give me food, I'll eat. If I die, it's okay. Straight away, I will come to heaven. And if we have that type of mentality, God is there to work miracles up to miracles up to miracles. Okay? Amen? Okay. Let's go to the text. And uh, we are not going to read because of the lack of time. We know about the faith of centurion, right? The Bible talks in Matthew chapter 8, 5 to 13. About a Roman centurion coming to Jesus for what? Not for his healing, but the healing of his servant. You see, man, 
नाव द वर्ल्ड इज मी 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 आणि माझ्या फॅमिली मराठीमध्ये मी अँड माय फॅमिली मी 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 बट दिस गाय इज अ वंडरफुल गाय ही इज कन्सर्न व्हेरी मच कन्सर्न अबाउट इज सर्वंट अँड ही इज नॉट टेकिंग हिम टू द हॉस्पिटल राईट those days also doctors were there physicians were there but he sent his servant to jesus telling my servant is sick jesus is okay sick i will come and heal him and jesus was going to his house jesus uh, he he sent a word telling lord don't come to my house just speak a word just speak a word <laughs> wow i'll be sharing with you two three points here as the time permits and the bible says and he said just speak the words my servant will be healed and that really surprised jesus i mean jesus was shocked and jesus says i have never found this type of faith in israel Oh, Israel. It means there was only one guy, one person when different faith. And the Bible says great faith. Amen? Okay? I'll be sharing with you why Jesus said like that. Number one, the Bible says he believed Jesus has authority or all things. What was his faith? because he says here lord he uses the word lord you know in in that passage the word lord has been used twice he is realizing he is acknowledging jesus is not a man he is what does lord mean he is owner of everything the my servant who is sick he is honor of him he is the lord he is honor he has all authority sometimes we categorize right this part i will do <laughs> i tell you when you when we learn to trust god for small small things god will be so happy it will be so minute i teach my children really i teach my children faith for anything pray and trust god that means i am not that rigid pastor like stingy pastor no like that but i teach them faith what can if you give two crores they will finish it uh, enjoy their life if you give them faith you give them god you share your experiences how god is leading you through right and we we share with them our own experiences that will increase build up their faith and in any situation they will survive they will survive i cannot give I told you now if they do you give karosa prophets it will vanish like it the bible says it is like a bird <laughs> money is like a bird it will fly right bible says right birds are there in kuwait ha huh? i thought no birds here <laughs> just joking <laughs> and the bible says money will fly but if give them faith by your experience is telling them how the lord is leading you through my kids are watching me very closely 
And they are ready to serve the Lord. I tell you one thing. It's very easy to take a kid serving from the Lord. It's very easy. It's happening in India. Happening. Very difficult to bring somebody into the ministry. Very difficult now. What will I get? How much will you pay? But in our days, I left my business and came without expectation. And God is leading me through. Amen? And he will definitely lead me. I am sure. He will. He will not then who? Who? Your company? Any time can shut down. Any time. It happens. Once it happened during COVID, right? But when we have faith, the century, and he believed Jesus is not a person. He's a per he is God, and he knows he is owner of everything. That's why he says, you don't come. He used the word Lord. That Lordship should come in our life. Our realizations, we are, don't try to be your own shepherd, I tell always. Don't try to be some, someone's, somebody's shepherd. <laughs> Let them have their own shepherd, right? God is my shepherd. I shall not. Let him be forever and ever and ever and ever. For us, for our children. And he says, Lord, you just speak the word. He believed his word carries power. Do you believe? Words have power? Really believe? Who will speak now? Jesus is not here. I mean, physically, right? His word is in our heart, in our mouth. And when we say it, things will happen. Things will. A spiritual world resonates with the word of God. With the word of God. Every doors will open. They will obey. Storms will obey. Sickness will obey. They have to. They have to. They must. When we speak the word. Not our problems. Speak the word. And lastly. Receiving miracles is totally dependent. On our faith. The Bible says, let it be according to your faith. What faith you have about yourself, about your ministry, about your family, about your future? What faith you have? Jesus is so powerful, he can do anything. He's the one who does impossible things into possible. It is not depending on him. He is like an ocean, right? You can draw how much you want. It depends on our faith. I tell you, God has brought me all the way from Nagpur to tell one thing. Faith is required in this journey. And we have a God who does miracles. I don't know what situation you are going through. Would you please stand up on your feet just for one minute. I do not know your situation. But omniscient God is here. Still does miracles. Thank you Lord. Let's look up to him. Look up to him. Who will say like disciples, Lord, increase my faith? Who will say like disciples, Lord, increase my faith? Increase my faith to believe the impossibles. Who will say today? It is not just a word. As I am going to pray for you. 
God is going to confirm whatever I have shared with signs and wonders in your life. I believe you will come off with these testimonies. Lord, we thank you that faith is impossible to please you without faith. We are children look up to you. Believing you are miracle working God. Lord, as we are seeking you, Lord, whatever circumstances they are going through, whatever difficulty, challenge they are going through, in the name of Jesus, I pray, let it be done according to their faith in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Let there be healing, divine provisions, divine health, divine breakthrough in Jesus' name. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.